Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN. I follow the Start Solution, which is a low-fat, high-carb, whole-carb way of eating. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And be sure to check out the links in the description box to all my resources. I have an ebook, I have a newsletter, I have a Facebook group, so I'd love you to check all those out. So I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. I was on vacation, I was in Ireland and Scotland, and I really needed the break, and I feel refreshed and so much better. So take your vacations, people, it's really important. And if you feel like you need a break, take a break, okay? No one's gonna fault you for that. So today I'm going to be making a roasted veggie au gratin bake. Uh, there's going to be roasted cauliflower, butternut squash. I'm going to throw in some potatoes and carrots and onions. And there's going to be a delicious creamy sauce and it's going to be really good. So let's get started on that. So we're going to start by roasting the cauliflower and the butternut squash. Now this was already pre-chopped at my grocery store and if you really want to make things simple you can go ahead and do that because um, butternut squash are pretty tough to peel and cut and all that usually I have to have my husband do it and I just sprayed it with a little bit of water just to so the spices will stick so we're gonna spice these up I've got some garlic salt and I'm gonna use some onion powder A little smoked paprika and then I also like to use some poultry seasoning I like this because it's got nutmeg in it and that goes really well with the butternut squash so sprinkle a little bit of that on there you're not really measuring anything just kind of eyeballing it and then I'm just going to mix it around so we get it all coated and you don't need any oil to roast your veggies you really don't all right we're going to put this in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 25 minutes i'll check it at 20. so you just want to make sure they have some good color on them we want that roasted flavor when we add this to our au gratin bake and then while the butternut squash and cauliflower are roasting, I'm going to boil, I've got one potato and two small carrots that I've chopped up. And we're just gonna boil these till they're tender. And these are gonna go in the mix as well. So now we're gonna whip together our white sauce or our bechamel sauce. I did this recipe for you guys not too long ago, but I'll go through it once again real quick. We're gonna use the Mori New silken tofu this is 12 ounce this is the one you want it's in the asian section at the grocery store it's not in the refrigerated section you want to make sure it's 12 ounces otherwise it's just going to be too tofu -y and it just kind of overpowers everything so you want to use 12 ounces of that we're going to add in here four cups of steamed cauliflower and then i've got some salt and some onion powder i've got some cashew powder a couple tablespoons if you don't have cashew powder use a quarter cup of cashews then we'll add in our box of tofu you don't need to drain it juice of half a lemon and anywhere between a quarter and a third cup of plant milk depending on how thick you want it i'm going to use a third cup now i'm going to go blend this up and then i'll meet you over at the stove so I've already sauteed a couple tablespoons of onion and a clove of garlic. I used the jarred minced garlic, which I used a quarter teaspoon. Now I'm gonna add the sauce in here. The sauce is amazing and can be used for so many different things. We're just gonna heat this through. And since we're making an au gratin so we want to make it cheesy I'm gonna add some of my cheese sauce into the sauce we're also going to put it on top so I'm gonna add probably about a cup I'm 
and I'm on medium heat and this will just give us some cheesiness throughout the sauce so you just want to stir that well at this point I like to add a little bit of pepper And if you need to add more salt, now's the time. Now we're going to add in the rest of our veggies. I've got my potatoes and my carrots, roasted garlic and butternut squash. And then I like to add, just for color, a quarter cup of frozen peas that I let defrost. It just gives it a little extra color in there, and I just like that. That's totally optional. And then the other thing I'm going to add is a cup of butter beans. And these are basically just lima beans. If you don't have butter beans or can't find them, you could use white beans, that's fine. But I'm just going to use these organic butter beans, one cup. So we'll just get this all mixed up, let it cook for a couple minutes, let all the spices and everything kind of marry together, and then we're going to put it in a casserole dish and top it with some more cheese sauce. I just put it in this casserole dish here. I believe it's an 8x8, but if you have a 9x9, that's all fine. So I'm just going to top it with my plant-based cheese sauce, and this is going to make it super cheesy. And then we're going to put it back in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes until it gets nice and bubbly. And then I'm going to broil it the last two, three minutes to get the top hopefully a little bit brown. So just smooth it out. And then we're going to pop this in the oven right now. And then I'll show you the finished product. I also like to sprinkle a little smoked paprika on top. I just think it makes it look pretty. It's out of the oven. We're going to let it cool for probably about 10 minutes and then we'll cut it. We'll give it a taste. Got a nice little portion here. Got a little bit of the cheese sauce. So delicious. Let me give you an up close look. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm really looking forward to this. So we're going to give this a taste. Make sure that you always let casseroles, lasagnas, things like that cool for at least five minutes before you cut into them. That way there's kind of set up and it's just easier to get it out of the pan and it's just better just all around and then this is a great dish to take to a holiday party it's a great potluck dish it's a real crowd pleaser um, or you can just make it for your family it's yummy so let's give this a taste looks yummy That is so good. You've got the roasted cauliflower in here, which really gives it a deeper, richer flavor. This is so satisfying. It's definite comfort food. Definitely great for the cold weather, for the holidays. So I hope you give this one a try. So as you can see, these recipes are not complicated. You can put these together very easily. I will leave the complete recipe in the description box below. Make sure you check out everything in the description box. I've got links to my favorite products, to all my resources. So I hope you check that out. And remember that all my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you.